All right, guess what we're doing today? We have got the grill up to, uh, it's probably close to about 550, 575. We're gonna be making a chicken pizza. And we're gonna be putting a little bit of a truffle pig on it, black truffle oil. Mm, look at those truffles in the bottom. And we're going to be adding some, um, already pre-chopped all this, olives, mushrooms, tomatoes, red onion, and white onion. And we're going to add a little bit of extra cheese to it. Uh, we're doing this on the smoker, and we do have a pizza stone in place. Ouch, that handle is hot. There we go. I'm going to uh, scrape off the stone real quick, just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and close our lid. Ooh, and that's toasty. Toasty hot. Uh, way better to do this outside. You wanna make you a nice, delicious wood-fired pizza? Do it on your smoker. Throw in some lump charcoal, some, uh, some big chunks of wood. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna drizzle on just a little bit of this oil. Not too much, you don't wanna get too carried away with it. Just a little splash here and there. All right, that's, that's more than good enough. And then we'll throw in our toppings. Again, you know what? I'm not wearing gloves. My hands are clean. I know where my hands have been. So if you don't trust your hands, get some gloves, go wash your hands. <laughs> Whatever you, whatever's gonna make you feel better. Um, I wanna try to stay away from the middle because I don't want a really soggy pizza. And that generally what happens when you pile a bunch of uh, toppings in the center of pizza. I don't know why people do that. They think it flows out. I can tell you right now, I am the Pizza King. I never worked at Pizza King, but I did work at uh, Little Caesars, like old school Little Caesars back in the day. It was like my first job when I was like, oh goodness, when I was like two, I think. Okay, I wasn't two. I was maybe, um, how old was I? 14, 15, 16? Yeah, I don't know, but all right, so. There are wet toppings. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the uh, smoker. We're not actually smoking it. We just have the smoker cranked up really high with a pizza stone on it. We also do have a regular uni pizza oven, but today we're, um, we're gonna try something just a little bit different. Let's see how this works out. Ooh, hot. All right, pizza is on. I'm estimating probably about um, maybe uh, four, maybe six minutes. Grated some cheese to go on there. Block cheese, you don't want to use pre-shredded. It's got some binders and, not binders, but uh, anti-caking agent with it. And that's why you never, never put shredded cheese, pre-shredded cheese on a pizza. It's, uh, it's no bueno. I think you know where to leave this stuff here for now. I'll put the vegetables up, go get some fresh basil for when it's done. Uh, in about three minutes, we'll add the uh, extra cheese to it. I just wanna make sure the heat has time to dry off some of those fresh vegetables we added to it. We added uh, mushrooms, red onion, white onion, and some black olives to it. Okay, and set rip. We're actually going to also add some, uh, some gyro meat to this. I just had the bestest idea. This is now going to be a chicken, beef, lamb, crazy gyro pizza, something or other. I don't know, but man, it just sounded really good. Yeah, I went into the kitchen to, what was I going in there for? Oh yeah, I put the vegetables up in the refrigerator and I thought, you know what? I've got some frozen gyro meat that would be delicious on top of this. Now, now we're cooking with Keith. <laughs> now we've got some lamb and beef, chicken, um, truffle oil, black truffle oil to be exact. And oh man, why this thing is so hot right now. It's like burning my face off. All right, I'm gonna close the lid. Let that cook for a minute. And you know, I got a little, I got extra meat. I got too much meat. <laughs> Five. Let's see what we got. Whew. That's not looking too bad. Man, it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell that. Um, let's take a look at the 
bottom of our pizza here. Got some nice, nice leopard print going on. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna rotate it about 80, 80 degrees, 180 degrees. Looks like our cooking zone is pretty even though. So I'm gonna put some uh, extra block shredded cheese on top of it. It is pepper jack. I might even, yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna kick the heat up a little bit. And guess what? I'm going to I'm gonna open our bottom damper just a little bit more. We're gonna let this go for another uh, minute or two and then come back and take another look at it. We're really wanting to see that uh, outside ring to be a nice uh, golden brown, which it's getting there. I don't wanna burn it by any means, but I mean, that's usually how I roll anyways. So we'll see what happens. Oh my, look at that. That <laughs> looks delicious. All right, we're gonna have to go a little bit longer. Um, the vegetables have put so much extra moisture into this pizza. Let's uh, let's check the bottom again. Everybody love this, my big giant spatula. Uni, uni's kick ass, I recommend. If you got room and space for it. Oh, all right, bottom is perfect. Ooh, our outside crust is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some um, extra cheese and, and finish this guy off now. I think we're about where we need to be. Hopefully, maybe. Hell, I don't know. All right, so I added some extra cheese. It might look like a lot, but it's because uh, I don't actually have a, uh, a cheese grater or a box grater. I used a microplane <laughs> grater. That's normally what I use for garlic and stuff, but I mean, it looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rotate our pizza just a little bit, a little bit more. Yep, there we go. Little pizza row. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Just smacked half the toppings to one side. All right, so we're gonna let this guy go for just enough to melt down and brown this cheese a little bit, and then we'll pull it off. All right, well, I think we're ready to throw our pizza on the pill. Go ahead and slice it up. Actually, we have to let it cool off a little bit. It's gonna be really hot. So let's take a look and see what kind of disaster we made. It's been probably about um, 10 minutes, I think. Sounds about right. Ooh, look at that. How is that not a good looking pizza? Man, here, bubbling away. That's gonna be delicious. Yeah, that bottom side is, looks like a leopard. It's not burnt yet. So we'll go ahead and pull off here. We shall transfer it over to the wooden pizza pill that I like to actually slice pizza on. It's been cooking some stuff with Keith on the old smoker. We use a smoker as a pizza oven, although we have a, a pizza oven, a pizza. <laughs> All right, right now we're just gonna wait for the uh, pizza to cool down a little bit. It's pretty hot. If I cut it now, the cheese will just run everywhere. But man, it just smells delicious. It looks delicious. I hope it's gonna be delicious. Might be a little greasy from the uh, lamb and beef, but hey. What'd you do? What are you? We just want to slice the pizza, not your hand. <laughs> All right, you want to chop it up? So we, we got fresh clay and water out of the garden. And we are just, I'm not sure what's happening, but. We're slicing this pizza. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Crispy. <laughs> Maybe our next video will do it on how to operate a pizza slicer. Well, how else are you supposed to operate it? Um, like you go right to left, left to right. Well, that's what I'm doing. It's not rock and roll. Oh wait, what's that song? Do you remember that song? 
Is it a porcelain black rock and roll? It's very crispy, sir. Oh, you mean Krispy Kreme, the wrapper? No, as in, it's really crispy. It's a leopard. Yeah, that's good. We want it to be. Oh, wait, are you trying to say the crust is too... There was a lot of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now that we've... I'm not sure what's happened. Well, we've... It's been sliced and diced, so we're going to take a little quick break and come back and see how it tastes. All right, so we've had a few slices of the pizza and... Um, all right, the outside crust was a little crispy, a little too crispy. But you know what? Tastes great. Tastes good. I'm not sure what you're having for dinner, but this is, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, there's maybe just a little too much heat on the bottom. So I probably should have put in the uh, baking deflector to take off some of the heat from the pizza stone. That sounds kind of weird, but all right, that's all we got for homemade pizza.